Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have something new to test. Back in September we released our hot take video of the automatic scan to CAD feature in Apple's RoomPlan API. Polycam was the first to our knowledge to release this in their room mode. Our video review of it is now close to 10,000 views and there has recently been some updates to Polycam so we figured it's a good time for an update. We've also seen some incredible new advancements built on the groundbreaking camera system and sensors in iOS Pro devices and I wanted to give you all an update on what's been happening. So without further ado, let's dive right into it and explore the exciting world of reality capture using iOS mobile devices. In this video, I will be testing Polycam's new updated room mode by basically redoing the same test as we did back in September. I'll also review the new floor plan mode improvements and their new improvements to the in-app measurement tool. Polycam is a great entry level option. It's one of many apps that utilize iOS devices to capture reality. We have other videos covering that on our channel. The improvements of this app over the past two to three years has been amazing and the development is happening very fast. Automatic floor plan mode and new measurements tool and new Teams collaboration feature are just the latest updates. When we did the last video, we did raise some major concerns on the reliability and usability of the automatic scan to CAD feature for professionals. Here we are back at the cafe scanning. Everything with the capture interface and the process is the same. There are only changes to the output. I had much of the same problems this time to capture the irregular shaped windows and other architectural features like steps and elevation changes, posts and pillars. This is obviously not good enough for property professionals and needs to be improved. That being said, Polycam in the hands of the right person can be a very powerful tool. I do wish that they would put more effort into clearly explaining the opportunities and limitations of their products and its different features and capture modes as I think that would build more trust and reduce the risk of disappointing people. Let's move on to examine the captured data and the measurements accuracy. Based on my latest capture there seem to be some improvements on this front. Here you can see how I use Blender to measure and compare with the laser measurements I captured separately. So the CAD model has gone from this to this. So there's noticeable improvements on all these measurements. The LiDAR model is also slightly more accurate now than last time I was here. There are still issues with the failing to register doors, windows and other things that seem to be even worse than last time. The missing doors and windows are definitely things that stick out most here in my opinion. Posts, diagonal shapes and irregular shapes are also missing, same as last time. So I'm struggling to find a good use case for this with the current level of overall accuracy. So next we will look briefly at scanning the two stories, building and a separate room, same as last time. The video from September shows the issues with not registering staircases, so I wanted to revisit that after the update. I tried scanning both floors together and also once again each floor separately to see how that would turn out. Again as you can tell by the name, room mode is not suitable to scan a full two story building. There are missing floors, unrecognizable walls, windows, doors are pretty much all over the place. So in summary, this does not work. When I scan this floor by floor, the results are much better, but I would say it's still not good enough for property professionals. Looking at the window heights here, for example, on the first floor, their actual measurements is the same all around the building. And you can see here on the CAD model, they are all unique sizes. We also have this issue of the missing posts. This would be a major issue, as you can imagine, for a contractor if these things were not depicted on the drawings. Unfortunately, the issues with the posts not registering also exist for smaller rooms, and this will create more and larger accuracy issues 
with your measurements. Moving on now to look at the floor plan output. Here you can see how 2D floor plan exports from LiDAR scanning has evolved from launch till today. Starting with the blueprint and developing into proper looking floor plans. Of course, anything that does not register in the room scanning mode will also be missing from these floor plans. Floor plans include walls, doors and windows, title text, total square meter size, room labels and furniture. You can toggle these on and off, but you cannot edit them inside of Polycam. If you look closely at the measurements, you will see that it looks like they include the thickness of the walls in most places. This is an area where I think Polycam needs to recheck as most people would be interested in the interior measurements from wall to wall. The wall thickness in Polycam is set to 10 centimeters. This is also obviously not accurate for all cases and this will affect the total square meter size. It's also worth noting that there are different rules for if walls should be included or excluded from country to country and even region to region. This is just something we'll have to live with until the day we stop using 2D to document 3D spaces. We are here to help make that happen. The floor plans can be exported from Polycam in multiple formats. Next, we will take a look at the upgrades to the measurement tool. The ruler lets you measure from point to point. We have the addition of the pen that lets you create a line of points where you can measure irregular shapes more easily. Lastly, there has been the addition of an area measurement tool that lets you capture the total space. And make sure you do this in a top-down 2D view and double check in 3D so that you are staying on the same level plane when you measure. Overall, I think these are great additions to the measurement tool and they will definitely make it easier and more streamlined for professionals to extract measurements from their LiDAR scans out in the field. So to summarize my findings today, there are still some major issues left to be fixed for this capture mode to be used by professionals. This video is brought to you by LiDAR3D.io. We offer CAD production services based on iOS LiDAR and other types of input. Here you can see one example of an automatically generated floor plan that's been touched up by our CAD production team. Thank you for watching this video on testing Polycam's updated room mode. If you found it informative, then please give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe if you're interested in reality capturing using consumer electronics. For more information, visit www.lidar3d.io or email us at contact at lidar3d.io.